Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is entitled Corruption Bus Tour. So corruption in Korea is tarak, right? So it's when people do things incorrectly or dishonestly, right? They lie, they steal, especially people who are, you know, in power, right? People who have power, they do things uh, dishonestly. That's corruption. So here we have a bus tour. So a bus tour is when you get on these tall buses. We usually see double-decker buses and we see people going to different famous locations, right? And that's a tour. So here, uh, we're going to find out what this tour is about. So it's about corruption. So let's see how that's connected. Mexico is notorious for chronic corruption and fraud. So Mexico is the country and notorious is a word that it means being famous, but for a bad reason. So it's famous for a not so good reason for chronic corruption and fraud. So corruption is tarak, like we talked about. So it's crime when people who are let's say for example police or even the president they do very dishonest things that's corruption and chronic means it keeps happening it's not stopping so fraud is also kind of some form of lying so fraud is if I use uh, an ID like my passport and I don't have a real passport but it's a fake passport that is fraud if I use money and it's not real money and it's a fake money counterfeit money then that's also fraud so fraud is kind of lying using fake things so New Mexico is famous for these kinds of crimes so in a recent survey by Transparency International Mexico ranked 123rd out of 176 countries in the least corrupt category so they had a survey survey is kind of when you ask a question or you find out information from many different people uh, they did a survey and this transparency international transparency means you can see through it so in Korean transparency is like two million so transparency international meaning they want to see the truth in all the different countries I guess it's a group that does that they asked and they found that Mexico is one of the lowest countries when it came to the corrupt category. So corrupt means that you're being very dishonest. There's a lot of crime, right? Uh, it says another study said corruption is the third biggest concern for Mexicans after impunity and the economy. So if you ask a lot of the Mexican people, the people living in Mexico, they believe that corruption, the problem with this kind of crime, dishonest crime, is the third biggest problem or concern. And the first concern is impunity, meaning that when somebody does something bad, when they commit a crime, there is no punishment. That is impunity. So that means freedom from punishment when you do something wrong, as well as the economy that's dealing with uh, the, the, the money in the country, right? So that's dealing with jobs, that's dealing with how much people can earn. So all of those problems, that's the first and second problem, but corruption, problem with crime or dishonesty is the third biggest problem. To raise public awareness of corruption, Via Cuidadana, an anti-graft organization, initiated the newest addition to its corrupt tour bus tours. So, uh, this public awareness meaning that they want people, the citizens, to know, everyone to know about the corruption. So an anti-graft organization, anti-graft means they're against corruption. They're trying to stop these crimes committed by the people who have power. So this dishonest crime, uh, they want to stop it. They initiated or started. Initiate means to start or begin. The newest addition to its corrupt tour bus tour. So they have designed or they have thought of the idea of having this corrupt tour bus tour so that they can raise awareness. So people, everyday people can come and check out. They can see the tours of all of these places where these crimes are taking place. Why do they want to do that? They want people to know what's going on. Right? So they're raising awareness. So it says, um, Corruptor was founded by Miguel Trevino, a part-time political activist based in Monterey, where the tour began. So who started it? It was started by a man named Miguel Trevino, and he is a part-time, meaning that sometimes he works uh, as a political activist. So a political activist is a person who looks at politics. Politics is like the government. And he is an activist, meaning that he speaks out against things that he feels are, are incorrect uh, in the government. 
and he's focused in, uh, he's based in Monterey, which is uh, a place in uh, South America, right, or in Mexico. So here, where the tour began, he said he was motivated to take action when lax and unenforced fire regulations caused tens of deaths in a narco-terrorist attack on Monterey Casino. So the reason why he started this uh, fight against um, corruption was when he was motivated, that means he got the strength or he got the idea uh, to want to do this action. So he wanted to take action when lax means kind of laziness, they were not very uh, aware or they were not quick to act, but they were like, ah, it's okay. So that kind of attitude, that lax and unenforced fire regulations. So fire regulations are the rules that we have in buildings so that in case there's a fire, people can leave uh, safely. Uh, but here, it was unenforced, meaning that there were all these rules that they were not checking on. They were uh, breaking these rules inside the casino in Monterey, and no one was checking it. The police, none of the people who were supposed to check were checking. And because of that, tens of people died in this narco-terrorist attack. So narco is short for narcotics, which is drugs, uh, so dealing with Bayak, and as well as terrorists, so attack against the people of a country. So this drug-related attack on this Monterey Casino, because people, the government, were not doing their jobs, uh, many people suffered and died. So because of that, he was so angry uh, about the corruption, that's when he started this tour bus, this corruption tour bus. The 45-minute tour takes passengers to 10 corruption spots in Mexico City, including the government palace, state congress, VIP Tower and the Casino Royale. So there are many different places that this tour goes and it lasts for 45 minutes. It takes them to famous locations uh, where corruption is taking place. The tour is free and offered Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. So Fridays, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, we know Saturdays and Sundays are weekends. So there is, uh, the tours are given only three times a week and it's given for free. Volunteer guide uh, Tanya Sanchez said, the goal is to awaken Mexicans' consciousness about the problem of corruption, which is so serious and seems to be getting more and more expansive. So this uh, person, the volunteer guy, volunteer is a person who helps for free, right? So they want to help. So Tanya, Tanya Sanchez, she is a volunteer, she wants to help. And she says, why are we doing this? We're doing this so that Mexicans can be more aware. Right? So their consciousness, right? So that means they're aware of what's going on about the problem of corruption. So maybe many people in Mexico, they don't really know how bad it is. They just kind of hear that it's bad. But through this bus tour, they're showing people these are the places that corruption is happening. It's right in front of you. It's all over your city. So they want to get people more aware of the serious problem. And why is it a serious problem? It's bad now and they're afraid that it's going to get even worse. So expansive means widening. So it's going to get even bigger. So they want to stop this corruption and they're doing it through a tour bus. Very interesting, uh, very uh, good approach to letting people know about what the problem is. Because I think if we hear about a problem so much that we just kind of get used to it, but taking a new approach where they're actually taking people for free and they're showing them where this corruption is happening. So I hope it really works. And this is a problem that they want to fix in Mexico. So here, let's take a look at our uh, comprehension question. So here you can see more pictures. These are people lining up for the free tour uh, and the corrupt tour, the corruption tour bus. What was Mexico's corruption ranking in a recent survey by Transparency International? So we know that there were over 150, I think there was 170 something uh, countries. And where did Mexico rank? They were one of the lowest, right? So Mexico's rank was 123rd. So it was pretty low on the list of the most corrupt uh, or the least corrupt uh, countries. So if they were on the bottom of the least corrupt, then that means they're one of the most corrupt. Uh, what are the Mexicans' biggest and second biggest concerns? So we said the first concern was about when crime is committed, there is no punishment. And the second uh, concern was about dealing with uh, jobs and money in the country. So we said those words are impunity and the economy. So those are number one and number two problems. And corruption is number three. What is the name of the corruption bus tour? So we can see it on the picture. So the corruption bus tour is called the corrupt tour.
right? Very interesting, catchy name. So uh, that's what we learned in today's article. And let's look at the last part, fill in the blank. It says, Mexico is blank for chronic corruption and fraud. So chronic, we said, is it keeps happening. It's a problem that happens again and again. And what are they known for? Mexico is notorious. So we said notorious is you're famous, you're well known, but not for a good reason. Uh, the 45 minute tour takes something to 10 corruption spots in Mexico. So we know we need a noun. So who do they take? They take, that's right, passengers. So passengers are people that are on a bus or even on a boat or on an airplane, on a train. Those are passengers. So they take these people who are on the bus to these tourist, uh, these corruption spots. The last question, it says the blank is to awaken Mexicans consciousness about the problem of corruption, which is serious and seems to be getting more expansive. So we said expansive is widening, so it gets bigger and bigger. So the blank is to awaken. So what is it? Why are they doing this? Why are they trying to wake uh, the Mexicans awareness to the problem? And it says that is their goal, right? So that's uh, the reason why they're trying to do this. So they're not trying to do this uh, to put shame on people per se, but they're doing this so that more and more people of the country can be aware. So when you have people who are aware to the problem, then you have more and more people who would like to help in trying to fix it. So this is a very interesting approach, a good idea to try to get uh, more awareness in the people of uh, the Mexicans uh, who need to know what's going on in their country. So we see different countries trying to raise awareness to the problems in their country. And we want to cheer Mexico in trying to get uh, justice uh, and fix the problems in their country. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and you learned a lot. So whenever you see corruption, let's always do our best to raise awareness. Until next time, I hope you do well. I'll see you again. Goodbye, everyone.